What is going on guys? Welcome to part two of Demir Rogues, our very first list that we are trying out in standard with Zendikar Rising. Absolutely loving it so far. We have, uh, I think we've gotten three wins. Is that correct? Yeah, we got three wins last time. That's pretty awesome. I didn't even realize. Uh, really enjoying this deck though. It is fantastic. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. I think we'll, we'll keep this. Got a lot of twos, uh, which is a little odd, but uh, hopefully won't be too much of a problem. Uh, what's nice, again, uh, the flexibility of this mechanic here, I just want to point out, uh, this this kind of flip uh, flexibility stuff is just so nice. Uh, you can do so much with it. You can really uh, just, it, it's, it's very efficient, um, and it just allows you to do things very flexibly, which is not the norm, uh, and so... Uh, when when you've got a deck like this, which is clearly a very low curve deck that doesn't necessarily need a lot of lands, you can support that a little bit more with some of these flexible pieces that ideally are going to make it nice because you can you can hit your land drops even if you don't necessarily uh, have just tons and tons of lands in your deck. Um, let's do this. <clears throat> Interested to see what deck this is. So an Evolving Wilds into a Fabled Passage with these beautiful full art Godzilla lands. Um, we will uh, we will see. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is go ahead and play this. Uh, and we, we will attack in. Okay, we won't attack in. Um, let's go ahead and flash this out. Uh, I think our biggest thing is keeping a something on the battlefield until we can really get there with this. Oh, this is just going to be an annoying matchup, I think. <laughs> uh, looks like a very, you know, mono blue-esque uh, control deck. Oh, blue-green. Pardon me. Uh, not going to be a fun matchup, that's for sure. Uh, but this does give us a little bit of flexibility, so any rogue that we play is going to mill a couple cards, which is nice. Another tutelage deck. Okay. Um, there could very easily be a new combo with tutelage that I'm not aware of, so that might be why we're seeing so many of these. Uh, regardless, well, I guess there would be Seagate Restoration, I suppose. Is that it? You just, like, double your hand or whatever? It's just a mill deck. It's just a, just a mill deck. Um, we are going to play this land out here, uh, because I think we need to. Let's go ahead and attack in for one. Wow. Um... Should have probably played that first. I think that was just a mistake. Uh, we would have milled an extra card here. Two cards, I believe. Uh, so that was a bit of a mistake, but uh, that's okay. That is fine. Interesting. Okay. It's fine. Um, so here we're in the camp of we need to get this going. We need to get Zarath uh, going and then... We really don't have a ton of permanence to take. I mean, it's just lands, which kind of sucks. But um, we'll uh, we'll do the best we can. I'm not stressing. We can do it. Don't even worry about it. Uh, that we can take. Um, I really want to thank everybody for the support recently on uh, the Zendikar Rising booster box, but also just our videos in general. It means a lot to uh, to have you guys there and and be a part of our community. So welcome to all of you new people. Uh, welcome to everybody entering the Zendikar giveaway uh, as well, which is uh, hopefully going to be a really fun giveaway. We've got a lot of people entered already, uh, so I'm certainly hoping we can get a few more and and do some awesome stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. Mill a couple cards. Let's go to blocks. They're not going to. All right. Get to do this. Let's go ahead and pull this back. This mills a couple more cards, which is nice. Um, and now we get to steal a thing. Uh, so what do we want is the question. So a land isn't bad, honestly, because it does give us the ability to, to just kind of uh, keep moving forward, play out another rogue, mill a couple things. Uh, they are going to get an Uro here, which I don't like. Um, I'm going to be on the... Uh, the land plan. Uh, that's not a very exciting plan, but it's the plan we're on. Let's go ahead and pass. Um, yep. Worth noting, though, they haven't hit a ton of lands. I mean, they've got 
all these, you know, back and forth flip cards that uh, I guess they're just not hitting at the right time. Um, but their landfall triggers aren't happening as, as often as they might like. This is a fairly must deal with card just in general. Um, so that might be something they try and do this turn versus going for the Uro. Uh, either way, I'm kind of fine. Um, it's it's not great because Uro really kind of stops us. We'd be really looking for a removal spell. Uh, but, um, you know, we can play out the Soaring Thought Thief and at least get in for, for a little bit of damage in the air um, and keep milling them, milling them out here. Worth noting, we are toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dedicated mill deck. I mean... You look at this deck, we've obviously got Mill as a, a very large sub-theme, but that's not necessarily our our like game plan game plan. It's nice to be able to do it because we want to steal stuff, but it's really more of a, uh, you know, just kind of a Flash Demir deck, which this obviously is kind of kicking butt. Um, so we'll, we'll see. All right. Um, I think we just Mill as much as we can. Uh, it's the best we can do. Um, worth noting here, we can triple block an Uro. <laughs> I'm not above it. Um, but here, I mean, you're seeing how much mill we are throwing out there. It's it's quite a bit. Um, we'll do this. I'm not going to sandbag. Uh, normally, that would be something I would consider, but I'm not worried about it here. I think we just need to, uh, to keep making sure we're moving forward with our game plan. Uh, which I think we're doing all right. Um, it's not great, but we're doing all right. We are in a position... Oh, we don't even have to triple block, excuse me. Because of uh, the Thought Thief, of course, we, we have three twos here. But, um, yep, that's very good. Worth noting, though, when they... Like we're seeing now, when they really want to mill us and get the cards to do so, they're, they're going to be able to do it in, like, a turn. Whereas we're doing it over the course of many, many turns. Um... So a little bit different there. Wow, another tutelage, yeah. That's very good. Um I mean, no way we're we're gonna keep up with this. I think they just win. Um the only thing I could see working is if we uh if we get a removal spell for the Uro. It's not one. Um I guess we can attack with the Thieves Guild Enforcer because it does Death Touch on Uro, but really this is kind of our secondary win con here, um, so I don't love that idea. Let's see, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So they would have to block. Uh, they could block here, put it down to 15, and then it's fine. Um, granted, they're not swinging for a ton on the back. So if we do this, um, is that worth it? Yeah, I think it is. Now they don't, worth noting, they don't have to block anything here, but it's a free block. Um, but this gets them closer to dead, uh, which is really important for us because next turn, potentially the turn after, we're, we're dead. Uh, just due to mill. Um, so we have to just hope we can get there. Uh, we are keeping up with them on the mill plan, though. I'm very surprised by that. Sure. Hmm. Worth noting, we probably should have been attacking uh, earlier on as well, uh, just to get their life total down, so that way we're not only attacking on the mill plans. So I think that was a misplay, 100% um, on my end. Uh, but that's okay. Again, you, you live and you learn. Uh, we're, we are learning as we go. Um, and either way, this deck is fun, and I love seeing new decks like this. This is awesome. Uh, you know, a, a Simic Mill deck is pretty sweet, to be honest. <laughs> <clears throat> but see, now we're in a position where, you know, this is on its own lethal, but obviously between all of the creatures we've got, we, uh, we're doing pretty well. Uh, so I feel all right about that. Also, uh, I just got word it's time to order lunch. So I uh, I apologize, but I will be uh, ordering lunch here for a second. So don't uh, don't leave. Hang out with me. Okay, here we go.
Do we lose? Yeah. Nice. They got us. That was great. Well done. Uh, yeah, I think if we had attacked a turn earlier, would have been in much better shape. That was definitely just a, uh, a misplay on my end, um, but that's okay. Let us jump into game two. Um, you guys don't know of Groucho's Deli, I assume, but it's delicious and DoorDash is convenient. Um, all right, let's see, Groucho's. It's so nice that you just reorder too. You don't even have to like, yeah, just do that again. Um, all right. Do we keep, do we keep, do we keep? Sure. Uh, wow. Well, look at that. What a lovely view. Um, okay. Well, we know what we're against, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get this. Yep. We gonna pass. Um, we might be able to get them here, but I think if they're smart, they just don't. Wow, that's a lot of cards very quickly. <laughs> um, if they're smart, they probably would just won't attack, I think. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Goodness gracious. That is a um, an amazing start. <laughs> like, Jesus. Well done, opponent. I I can't be mad about that. Like, that's just good. Uh, we're going to take one of them out because we have to. Jeez, that was brutal. Um, can we even, like, do anything here? Um, we can kill one of them, which I think we just go ahead and do. Uh, it's not great, I know, but I think it's um, it's kind of just the only option we have. If they have a fourth, I would be so upset. Um, hey, order. Why Why is this taking so long? Yeah, dude, you got it. They have milled almost 20 cards. That is brutal. Uh, well done. I mean, you got it. We're killing this stupid thing because we need to. Um, that mills more cards. It's a better engine than the Soaring Thought Thief in terms of the mill engine. So that's why I'm killing that first, by the way. Uh, and not the, the Thought Thief. This is literally just, like, spinning. I don't know what's wrong. It's frustrating me. Uh, also, we got a new patron. Let me, uh, Maxwell, thank you, my friend. You were a patron before. Welcome back. All right. Land. That's helpful-ish. Um, yep. Can't do anything. All right. I mean, we're just going to flash this out. I don't think we can catch up in this situation, but we're going to do the best we can. Um, yeah, dude. Go ahead and flash this out. So it did add it to the cart. Well, that was dumb. Um, <laughs> sure. You got me, dude. Um, we pass. Really lacking on land here, which is kind of frustrating. Um... I mean, we can bounce this with Brazen Borrower, which is not terrible. Um, but obviously, they just replay it, and that's fine. Oh. Oh, no. Groucho's is closed. <gasps> guys, sad day. I know you guys don't know what Groucho's is, but it's a delightful little deli um, that is actually near where I went to college. Uh, Winthrop University, for the record. If you're interested, I started in graphic design and then moved to web development, which is now my full-time job, on top of what I do here. Which, let me tell you, don't, don't do what I do. It's a bad idea. It is time-consuming. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's going on with the opponent. They used a timeout, and this doesn't seem like a time where they would need to, given that they've only got three available cards. One of which we know. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> we 
we are just like not getting there. Um, they definitely, I think, have us, but that's fine. I'm just going to block. Yep. I'm going to be bold and daring. Um, there's a reason I'm doing that. And it's this. Oh, no, wait. And it's this. There we go. Now it was cool. All right. Boom. Well, this is about as cool as we can make it. Um, <laughs> that's very I think we just take this, but we're definitely going to die. Um, I also have to... Yeah, there it is. We did that into a Brazen Borrower, so we knew. Alright, there we go. Can I just give up? Because we're definitely dead. Yeah, I'm I'm just going to... Let's let's move on to a game three. That, that wasn't going to happen. Alright, let's see... Last game, let's see if we can get another win in. Uh, we did really well in video one. We're kind of sucking in video two, but that's fine. All right. Last one. Last one. One more win. That'd be great. Uh, we'll, of course, summarize the deck as we uh, finish up here, but... Um, I do think there's a little bit of tweaking that could be done uh, with this deck, uh, with the with the version of the list that I have. Don't think it's perfect. Um, not that it, it's ever going to be 100% perfect, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm kind of okay with keeping this. It's a little like we need some untapped lands, <laughs> like badly. Uh, but let's let's see if we can keep this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's scry. Uh, don't want that. Um, I think we probably just play the Mimic out, uh, as a land. Oh, well, nope, that changes things. Let's do that, and let's pass. Uh, so we get to flash this out, which is great. Uh, looks like Clerics, maybe, or just, like, Humans. It's kind of a frustrating deck, I imagine. And again, we get to wait until the last possible second to really have to do anything. Um, so I'm not going to worry. We'll take three. That's fine. Sure. Go ahead and play this out. One white mana available. I wonder what that could be for. Um, I'm going to play this land out for sure. Um... I'm gonna attack here. That might be incorrect, but we're gonna try it. Uh, Cause we could technically just block this enforcer very cleanly and not have to worry too much. But I think uh, I think that's okay. This gets our drown in the lock going, which is I think very crucial. Obviously. Um, wow, well, that's very good. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to go ahead and kill the Enforcer. This is just a very problematic card in this matchup because it means we can't kill a lot of things. So I think it's it's correct for us to do that. Uh, I guess we could have waited so it didn't get exiled, but it doesn't matter, I don't believe. Um, okay. Now we can kill that. Hmm. Should wait, I suppose. Um, we'll attack him. Let's mill another two. Okay, two very solid hits, and we'll pass. <sighs> hmm. 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 The fact that this can get indestructible is very annoying. Granted, we just get to bounce it, but like, it's still very good. I'm going to kill this now. 
again, having the enforcer plus the general out and is really, really difficult to deal with. So we got to find ways to, to make that work. All right. This is actually a nice turn though. Um, cool. So let's do this. I'm gonna swap. Um, what do we take? What do we take? Probably just the general. Um, Yeah, I think it's just the general. It's just the strongest of the cards, and it also sets us up well to be able to take uh, some other important things. Now, what do we want to... I think we just take a land, because we kind of want access to a lot of these things. Um, let's see. It's just a nice little blocker as well. Um, if they want to keep being aggressive, we can kind of throw it back at them. We'll just do this. That's fine. Again, we want to. We need to keep moving forward and progressing our board because we're not doing that very well at the moment. Um, okay, that's very good. I'm going to do this. Let's see what they do. If they want to discard a card, that's fine. Because again, this isn't even our creature to begin with, so I don't really care. Um, sure. Land is good. Um, so that's indestructible. I'm really thinking here because I want this deck to win. Um, this allows us to keep dealing damage but still get creatures out, which I think is really important. Um, Hmm. I wish we could uh, take creatures with that. That would be really good. Um, I think we'll just take this. It's not great, but it's something. Um, okay, and then we can flash out two things here. How many cards are in their graveyard? Not quite enough. Um, yeah. So they just get to replay the general, and that's fine. Uh, that's very good. Oh, okay, nice. So now we get to throw out some flyers here. Let's get two of them out. So now we get to be more aggressive and actually throw throw some damage in the face okay well it's not really great but it is what it is uh let's get that out just do this uh worth noting we may have should have just kept that to be able to discard to the the hollow blade here so that might have been a mistake um but that's fine mill a couple things oh very good uh now deal six. And now, of course, we've got Brazen Borrower that can come down as well as the Night Bonder. Um, Night Bonder can just be a blocker. doesn't have to deal anything. Uh, but the Brazen Borrower gives us a backup three damage. So if they kill one of these, that's fine. If they kill two, that's not so fine. But um, we should be able to, to make this work. Yeah, we got there. All right, so we did get another win. Um, so overall, four and two, I think, was our record. I'm pretty happy with that, given that, again, I don't think that this is a perfect list. I would swap out some things. The Night Bonder just doesn't seem to do enough. Uh, it cheapens essentially Brazen Borrower, and that's about it. Uh, so I would like to see that swapped out with something or maybe just a different configuration altogether. Either way, I love the deck. It's awesome. Uh, it does a lot of awesome things. It's got quite a few really good synergies as well. Uh, and then being able to just steal stuff uh, is, is stupid good. So I love it. I definitely recommend it. It's a great start to the Zendikar Rising season. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Thank you again for uh, supporting our channel, supporting what we do, and being here to watch. I uh, really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys very soon in another gameplay video. Thanks, guys.